Hello again everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. And as you can see we have found a jail, so And there's a crying girl in there. But for now we're going to ignore her and continue on to get the key we need for the locked door. Whoops, I thought I jumped far enough. No, oh well. It's not like I died, you just lose a piece of life. Oh yes, the lightning mirror. Oh, this enemy's not that difficult actually. Now we'll just use wind. It seems to work well on lightning. Now, because these enemies are like closer to the end of the game, you get two demon fangs if you finish them off properly. End of the game, what am I saying? We've still got a long way to go. Oh, a dead bug, huh? That, that's delightful. Oh, that looks dangerous. Now the key is in a similar little side alcove, but we need to manipulate a guard first to give us a platform to get up there, otherwise we can't reach it. Let's see, it's up here. So I have to try to do this without getting stomped on, pretty much. Yeah, it's still not close enough. Oh, this guy really wants to crush me. Oh, darn. So close. Whoops. If they do hit you, you get this little conversation. But now his foot's close enough to the wall that I should be able to get up there just fine. Yep. Treasure, which is a golden peach. And we can go back to the demon gate. Devil key thingy. Try not to get crushed in the meantime.
She must have really good ears to have heard such tiny little people walking by. Uh, the often heard but never before seen Kaguya, who is actually very beautiful, <laughs> regardless of Ethan's little inner dialogue before about how she was probably going to be ugly. Now, before we go anywhere, Kaguya actually has a really good tip as to where exactly you're supposed to go. We're kind of going that way anyway, but it's nice to know that she pays attention to what's going on in the world. And that's not the right way. Great, more bugs. Kind of gross. Apparently, they're hoarding acorns. Because the Emperor is an idiot? Well, we're gonna find out. Now, if you're arachnophobic, these things aren't particularly delightful, are they? Oh, I happen to be arachnophobic, but whatever. I don't really care. They're kinda stupid looking, so she sort of makes up for it. Now there's three very large clovers down here, and you don't want to miss them. They give quite a bit of uh, praise, and the more praise the better. That's why we're running around, you know, trying to get every clover, feed every animal, uncover every mystery. 
It's a pretty deep hole. I kind of wonder how the Emperor got down here to begin with. What with all the spiders and everything? I think he would have stepped on a few of them. Now, those are the ones that he was talking about that will get angry and throw you off. Uh, they'll start shaking and eventually just toss you, but you have a few seconds to use them as platforms. So, next time on uh, Let's Play Okami, we will get the last clover and continue on. I'll see you all next time.